Litecoin has zero active development leaked developer messages. Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocker from Rockstar Trading Channel and today I've got a slightly different video where I'll be talking about some of the news rumors leaked messages that are going on with litecoin project so about two couple of days ago guys this news came out that charlie lee himself has said he's struggling to get developers working on on litecoin project he had that conversation with the litecoin found foundation director frankly richards and these are some leaked telegram messages so i'll talk about the news i mean what's actually been said in in the news and leaked messages i'll talk about that first and then guys at the end of the video i'll be sharing with you my messages and and some facts as well and my overall thoughts on litecoin and i'll end the video of how charlie lee is responding to these leaked messages so hopefully this will give you an overview of the litecoin project if you're invested in it um, i've talked about how i'm trading it litecoin has been my most profitable trade in 2019 i've been trading it like crazy but I recently guys up to leading to litecoin halving i have sold some and i've i'll make a video of why i sold all my litecoin in another video but this video i'll stick to stick to these leaked messages rumors so guys i'll give you a so the leaked information was these text messages i'm going to quickly read this out to you so litecoin foundation chat leaked no evidence of development and lack of transparency so franklin guys he said i was extremely disappointed to discover that no progress has been made on ct since the announcement especially when i stand on stage telling everyone it's happening we're actively not working we are actively working it charlie lee the honest truth is that no one is interested in working on litecoin protocol development work at least no one technically competent you can't just throw money you can't just throw money at this problem this is true for litecoin since the beginning it has only been me warren and trasher okay so warren has moved to blockstream trasher is a w o l and you let's make the record clear we can't we can't string people along i've also tried someone else to lead the mw projects as i don't want to be the only person pushing this forward but not having any success when there's upside i'll post an update sorry but i don't but i don't very much care if people are disappointed if they expect a lot of progress people need to stop looking at me to make everything happen it's a decentralized currency after all right or is it so that is one thing i'd like to say people are saying you know litecoin is dead there's no developments the one thing that you can talk, say is litecoin is a decentralized project charlie lee is not litecoin you know rip we associate ripple with xrp but they're meant to be decentralized so charlie lee can't be counted for the progress of litecoin but if the founder is struggling and uh, to develop this coin so you could say the interest in this project is not as much so that doesn't bode very well to me if i'm invested in in litecoin well at least we know where we stand stand sad to hear that's the case we definitely under the assumption that progress was being made progress is being made but not as much as people would like again it, it's a vague statement we are researching yet no evidence this is totally happening i'm the director of the foundation if i don't see it then something is wrong like you said he's a director i have a private chat where i've asked dev, dev updates numerous times and i've had zero response you sit in on these talks that are hidden from me it's a moral dilemma we cannot ask for money yet privately says there's no dev to pay with it charlie also says we'll have ct in 2019 then say he doesn't care when people ask for updates or expect some progress to have been made so this is not a pretty scenario guys i think you can get the grasp of this conversation um i try i mean i'm trying to stay i'm trying to stay very thoughtful and not make i'm trying to be very neutral in this in this in this video but if you if you're invested in a stock or a project that you see this sort of conversation going on you're not going to be very very interested in this and and one thing that i didn't like initially with litecoin i was one of the biggest advocates of litecoin back in 2017 you can check my old old videos of is mainly about litecoin I was very disappointed with Litepay and I think that's when I sold I think half of what I had in Litecoin and that that probably was my best trade because Litecoin fell so much 
and they made promises crazy promises and nothing really came out of that and um, yeah it's just disappointing after disappointing uh, what would happen so some of the other key points I'd like to read what would happen if I right now told people actually in the public Litecoin has zero active development and I haven't had anything from lead developer in months the honest truth is no one is interested in working on Litecoin protocol development work. At least no one technically compliment. You can't just run money at this problem. This is true for Litecoin since the beginning. And one thing that I'm kind of pretentious about as well is Litecoin has got some sponsorships with UFC and a, an American sports team, I think Miami. Um, and, um, and if you're buying these sponsorships leading up to the halving is it just a promotional thing to pump the price of litecoin so you can dump litecoin that that's a, a narrative or a contra conspiracy theory that people can argue and that's why I, I said you need to buy the rumor sell the news kind of event and i think that will probably happen with with bitcoin as well it will pump really hard and then there might be another drop um, and we have to be very careful with with these people and lots of people in trading and not do not have our best interests at heart work on privacy alleged alleged so I can't seem to uh, read English properly. Allegedly without progress as Litecoin suffers large scale dusting attacks. That is another very negative thing about about you know like uh, Litecoin project. They need to be able to install these confidential transactions and to to avoid dusting attacks. It's not something. It's not like people are stealing your Litecoin, but uh, these attacks. You know, these scammers and hackers try to break the privacy of the cryptocurrency by sending tiny amounts of coins to their person no wallets so you can read the article if you want to watch that video this is a good video to understand what it is I was extremely disappointed to discover no progress have been made on CT so you can see how disappointed it is a lack of self-funding may lead to poor development centralization so that is an argument of decentralization and centralization where people actually struggle with uh, struggle with funding and and making making improvements in the project when there's an update i'll post an update sorry i don't very much care if people are disappointed if they expect a lot of progress people need to stop looking at me to make everything happen it's decentralized currency after all all right or is it i read that bit again because it just it's just a dilemma for cryptocurrency and blockchain when you're trying to develop it so we as we most people that are interested in litecoin i think are invested from a money point of view and i i'm on that boat as well i do care about the technology but i'm not a developer i'm not actively trying to develop it or trying to help litecoin i'm trying to hope i'm hoping that these guys can improve it so my coin prices go up so it's a very big dilemma I'm, and i'm not sure what what the solution is but reading all this stuff i wouldn't trust my money in something that that has all these dilemmas so like charlie lee refused that litecoin is being abundant so after all this news charlie lee came out and said oh look it's not being abandoned i'm going to read about what he said i'll go through his tweet but he's obviously going to make the argument isn't he uh, one thing some of the facts that i'd like to talk about so you might be thinking is it actually true these leaked messages apparently you can look it up yourself using telegram message forwarding and uh, there's few people on twitter i know are in part of groups with charlie lee telegram groups they've asked charlie lee about it and he apparently has said uh, that uh, nothing i said there is really news to old timers litecoin development has functioned this way development for privacy is slow because i focused on adoption and awareness i'm switching gears soon and will spend more time on mw soon um but it is true no one is stepping up to help work on it people just expect it to magically get done so demanding it demanding it to be done doesn't really help any in any ways so from a price point of view again i'm a trader from a pop price point of view let me get into it's been really tough trading today oil and stocks so um make a video for for the subscribers about it later how i'm trading it but uh, let me just quickly talk about the litecoin price um the litecoin had a massive rally as you can see guys it would it was a really profitable trade for myself and then um, i'll talk about in another video exactly where i was buying and selling and how i played litecoin and i'm really happy about it i think i sold most of it when it got below this moving average and couldn't get above it 
but it's not looking pretty now so if they actually just work on that privacy and not on promoting an adoption then the price might even drop further so just be careful of that guys uh, i just wanted to make that point on here where he said he'll he'll be switching gears and working on on the project sooner not so much on adoption and awareness because adoption and awareness gets people excited and makes them invest their money um so looking at some of the facts guys github is something i recommend so in the group one of the first things that talk to people when researching a coin is looking at how much uh, github uh, is being updated how much activity there is and uh, if you look at the activity for litecoin github activity is dropping massively you, you can see eos ethereum bitcoin there's a lot of activity still going on whereas litecoin has gone down massively so that is another thing that doesn't bode very well if you've invested your hard-earned money again i'm not telling you to sell it i'll make a video about where i've bought and sold and you can take some tips and make your own decisions but I don't want you to make your own decisions, guys. I, sorry, I, I want you to make your own decisions. So I'd like to end this video on this bit, guys. I just want to set the record straight. In eight years' history of Litecoin, we've only had a handful of core developers working on Litecoin. It's no secret that we have purposely kept Litecoin's code very close to Bitcoin since we are mostly merging in Bitcoin changes. We only need a lead Litecoin core developer doing the mergers and rest of us with code reviews, testing and Gitty and builds. Adrian Gallagher is leading Litecoin core, pro core development right now and has been for many years. You may not know Adrian well, he's not on Twitter much, he's awesome and he's working on it. Recently there's been a lot of FUD about Litecoin having no nodes in 2019. When you look at Litecoin go to GitHub, it would seem like we did no work in 2019. There's, there's actually two reasons why this is the case, even though we've been developing it. First reason, Litecoin releases lag Bitcoin releases by a few months. So when we do release, we're releasing code that has been released in Bitcoin months ago. But the code that was released was mostly written in 2018. The interesting thing about GitHub is it keeps the commit the same in terms who wrote it when it was committed to the code base of bitcoin developers are credited for their work in the litecoin code base what this means in practice is although we did work on and released the litecoin core in may 2019 github doesn't look the activity doesn't look that there's been a lot of activity second reason is we don't work on the master branch on the of the main project it's generally not good dev practice to check in non-release code into the master branch so again you can make out of what he's trying to say but that is how he's defending it this is how Litecoin development has functioned for years. We even had the same FUD last year. I think the FUD is slightly different because I've been supporting Litecoin for a while. I'll address the progress on Mimble, Wimble and confidential transactions. When I announced I'll start working on Mimble, Wimble, someone asked me for an ETA. I responded with should be sometime in 2019. As the year went by, I got sidetracked with a ton of other work. So you can talk to about this Litecoin Foundation stuff that an adoption stuff has been doing with Miami Dolphins. There's a two for work on Litecoin adoption, work on development for Litecoin. I believe adoption and awareness was more important to focus. So he's been focusing more on that. And he dropped the ball on Mumble, Mimble Wumble. But you can see it's just simple. It's just repeat the excuses is quite similar and i've been supporting litecoin like i said for for ages that said i believe it's time for now to shift focus from adoption back to development i still think fungibility is extremely important i'll get the ball rolling on mumble wimble and ct this time i won't make any promises on dates last thing i want to add is i'll work on better communication with the community give more frequent updates on things he said the exact same thing with litepay so guys what is my thoughts on it i think you can gather my thoughts on it already if i was investing my or your hard-earned money i wouldn't like to be invested in something like this i'd trust my own skills in trading to keep trading litecoin and at the moment you can see we have even in simple trading terms you don't have to be an expert you know we're in a downtrend lower low lower high 
lower low so we do not want to be invested in something that looks like that on a higher time frame we're finding some support in the 200 moving average but we i need to see a big bit of a trend change before i get in, interested in this i'm mainly invested in bitcoin and a couple of trades that i'm trading and i've been quite transparent in the group uh, if you're interested in learning how I trade, guys, you can join our Rockstar Trading Group. The first uh, section is sold out, but the second tier is still open. If you're interested, guys, we've got, still got six places left. Um, I've released my first educational video. I'll be releasing another one this week and um, i provide trading updates how i'm trading it coins that i'm trading and i don't want it to be a trade signals group but i also post how i'm trading it and you can benefit from that so thank you very much for watching this video guys if you have enjoyed it guys i'd appreciate a like and a subscribe if you're interested in the trading group you can email me at crypto rock at hotmail.com to find out more about it and um, to improve your learning and education if you're a newbie two more professional i'll be releasing content from beginner to advanced strategy so thank you very much hope you've enjoyed it my question to you guys what is your thoughts on litecoin do you think it will recover and be a next big thing or do you think it's gonna be going on like it has been and it's gonna it's gonna you know do another thing to pump the coin but we're not really gonna see actual adoption so comment below your thoughts on litecoin and let's have a discussion below and if you have enjoyed this video i'd really appreciate if you smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button to stay up to date I'll, I'll make another litecoin video on how i traded litecoin in 2019 and i'll share with you some of the strategies i took where i bought where i sold thank you very much and i'll see you guys soon with another great video